Former First Rand Chairperson and Change Starts Now leader Roger Jardine says the upcoming elections is the best opportunity to vote out the ANC. He says his newly formed party, which includes 1976 Soweto Uprising activist Murphy Morobe, as well as civil society activists Mark Hayward and Nicole Fritz, has been established to be a democratic alternative to the governing party. Newsroom Africa's Zianda Ngobo reports. Change starts now. South Africans, we have arrived at a fork in the road to our future. Former freedom fighter turned businessman and now politician, Roger Jardine is promising South Africans to bring an alternative to the governing African National Congress. There's lots of speculation on where the ANC will end up post-election. It may receive as little as 40% of the vote in the upcoming elections. The message that we are getting consistently as we talk to people across this country is that the ANC is a party that belongs in the past. As a newly formed party, which doesn't have any political heavyweights who've been active on the ground in recent times, part of the challenge with taking on the ANC is contending with its well-oiled election machinery, which reaches almost all corners of the country. Jardine says their organization is adopting a different approach to the political landscape, which entails using modern methods that aren't rigorously employed by the more well-established parties. We'll have a national footprint, but we are predicated on getting directly to the citizen through a range of platforms. Uh, social media, word of mouth, small groups. Um, so it's multiple stimuli. There have also been continuous questions around why all these newly formed parties aren't coming together under one umbrella, especially when they all seem to be vying to unseat the ANC and ultimately form a coalition government. Jardine was probed about why he didn't join and pull resources together with a party such as Rise Mzansi, where their approach, targets and messaging aren't too far off from each other. Rise Mzansi uh, is, an, is a movement that has certainly animated a lot of people's attention. Our view, and I alluded to this in, in my speech, was... You know, this isn't, what we're trying to do here isn't about joining something. We're trying to craft a vision and an agenda for the country. A collaboration with Raisim Zansi down the line is not something that one should rule out. A more detailed vision and plan for the party will be outlined when it launches its manifesto on the 19th of February. But the movement has already indicated that issues such as immigration the current energy crisis, education and health care are amongst the matters at the top of their agenda. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zianda Ngobo in Bramfontein.